Hey, this is Mr. Buffington. We are going to be solving equations today, um, basically isolating variables. A lot of this is what we call two-step equations, and you'll see why that is in just a second. Um, things you'll need to remember, you'll need to remember the property of equality. Whatever you do to one side of an equation, you need to do to the other side of an equation. And you'll also need to know this vocabulary, isolating a variable. When you isolate a variable, you're getting the variable completely by itself on one side of the equation. To do this, we're going to be using inverse or the opposite operations, and you'll see us doing that throughout the course of this lesson, lesson and through the examples. So the basics be behind two-step equations is that you're going to get an equation that looks like this, 3x minus 5 equals 19, and you have to do the inverse operation and you have to do two steps to actually solve this equation. So let me show you for an example for this equation. To get my variable completely by itself, that's the solution. What is x is basically what this is asking. What is x that will make this true? So I have to get x by itself to show me what's true. And the way I like to think of it is starting at the as farthest things away from x and kind of moving our way in. You can also think of it as doing the order of operations backwards if you'd like. Um, and so we'll start out with, we have two operations here that are connected to x. We have multiplication, 3 times x. We also have subtraction, 3x minus 5. So first of all, I'm going to get rid of the things that are farthest away, which is the minus 5. To get rid of that, I'm going to add 5. And I have to do it to both sides of the equation. So 3x minus 5 plus 5 leaves me with just 3x on the left side of the equal sign. And 19 plus 5 gives me 24. Now I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by 3. Because 3 times x is the only thing I have left. So the, the inverse operation from multiplying times 3 would be divide by 3. And again, I have to do that to both sides of the equation which gives me my final answer of x is equal to 8. If you want to check your work, we can go back up and plug that into the very opening equation that we had. Is 3 times 8 minus 5 equal to 19? 3 times 8 is 24. 24 minus 5 is indeed equal to 19. So we, we can do a check of our work at the end. We're not going to do that for every single equation we solve. But again, the steps are that you start away from the x, you kind of move your way in. This is called a two-step equation because it takes two operations. It's also sometimes called mixed operation because you're doing both addition and division. But usually, two-step equation is what I've seen it called. So we're going to go ahead and solve a couple of those using the same basic ideas. We have 10y plus 4. We know the opposite of plus 4 is minus 4. So we're going to subtract 4 from both sides of this equation, and that will leave us with 10y on the left side. And negative 46 minus 4 gives us negative 50. Make sure to keep an eye on those negative numbers because they are the ones that tend to throw us off. All right, now we have 10y is equal to negative 50. I'm going to divide both sides by 10. And a 10 divided by 10 is 1. 1 times y leaves us with y. Negative 50 divided by 10 will leave us with a negative 5. y is equal to negative 5. Again, you can plug that into the original equation. 10 times negative 5 is negative 50. Negative 50 plus 4 is indeed negative 46. All right. Now uh, let's do another one. This one here is a little bit more complicated because it has x's, two different sets of x's here on the left side of the equation. So it adds one more step of taking a look and saying, these are like terms. I'm going to join them together. So 5x minus 3x leaves us with 2x. 2x, I have everything else exactly the same. So 2x plus 4 is 22. Now I'm going to go through the same exact process I did before. The opposite of plus 4 is minus 4, so I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides of that equal sign, leaving me with 2x by itself here. 22 minus 4 is 18. 
And now I have 2 times x, so I'm going to do the opposite of multiplying times x, which means I'm going to divide by x. 2x divided by 2 leaves me with x, and 18 divided by 2 is 9. And that'll be my final answer. And you could take this, I'm not going to, but you could take x, plug it in here, solve for the value of 9, 5 times 9 plus 4 minus 3 times 9 is equal to 22, and you should get that is a correct equation. All right. And the final uh, question here is a bit of a challenge that I put in here, and that's when you put a variable on both sides of the equal sign. This one here is a little bit more challenging, but again, not outside of what we can do. What I'm going to start doing is by putting all of my numbers on one side of the equal sign. So I'm going to look at this number, negative 3, and I'm going to get rid of that. To do that, I'm going to add 3 to both sides of the equal sign. Not bad. We've done that before, so now I'm left with 5n is equal to 3n plus 12. All right? I didn't have to add 3 twice, I just add 3 to the number that I have there. So now what? I've got this 3n I need to get rid of. So I'm going to do what I've been doing before, just using here, I'm going to use a different shade of blue because I've been using blue for all my addition and subtraction. I'm going to be subtracting 3n from both sides of the equation. See, what that's going to do is it's going to take all the variables, all the n's, and put them over to the left side, which is what I'm trying to do. All right? So in the end, what I'm going to end up with, 5n minus 3n leaves me with 2n. 3n minus 3n is 0, so 2n is equal to 12. Now I'm back to where I was before, where I had, um, here we go, 2 times n is equal to 12, so I'm going to divide both sides by 2 because the opposite of 2 times n is to divide by 2, and 2 divided by 2 is 1, so they cancel each other out 1 times n, just gives me n. And 12 divided by 2 will give me a positive 6. So that would be my final answer. Again, you could check by plugging in positive 6 into both of these positions inside of that equation. And that'll show you that the steps are correct. This one here is actually not a two-step equation, but a multiple-step equation. We have three steps in there if we do all the steps separately. Oftentimes, you'll see these first two steps done in one where they get all the letters to one side, all the numbers to the other side in one step, and you can do that when you get comfortable with it. All right? But this was our challenging question. That's our lesson about isolating variables, or in other words, solving equations, and oftentimes called multiple step equations.